appropriation involves uh, not giving credit. I, I think it's perfectly uh, reasonable to um, be influenced or inspired or to borrow and use uh, and to deal with other uh, cultural uh, aspects that uh, are not of one's own culture. That's perfectly fine. It, it seems to me the problem uh, occurs when uh, credit isn't given. Uh, when uh, it's a person might think that, uh, uh, that something that uh, you're making or doing uh, is coming out of your own culture when in fact it's uh, based on uh, a different culture. So I think that uh, that the, 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 the issue is about, is about credit. I don't think there's anything wrong with, uh, with people uh, being influenced by other people's culture. But uh, I think the problem well, happens when, uh, when 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 credit isn't given, and uh, when uh, when uh, when that becomes confusing. It's important that that artists are are, uh, are um, you know make use of all the things that they come in contact with. I I, I think that it's also important that uh, they are able to help to lead people who might view their work back to the source of uh, where whatever influences uh, uh, that are in the work could come from, it seems to me. Um, I think it's, it seems to be very difficult now to protect uh, for one someone or one community or one tribe to protect its own culture because of the influence of the internet. And yeah. Grab what they yeah. see in order to adapt it and turn it into something else. Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how it's possible um, to protect these things, I, I don't. I don't know that that's possible. I don't know that that's even something that should be uh, uh, attempted. Again, I, 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 I don't know how one can protect one's uh, culture or one's history or uh, the history of a people or a, a country or what have you. I don't know how you can stop uh, people that are uh, outside of that culture from being influenced by it. And I don't, I don't think it should be stopped. Again, I think that the, the problem occurs when, uh, when, uh, you know, when, when appropriation, I think, occurs when, you know, if, you know, there's nothing wrong with singing, uh, with, a, with, a, with, a, you know, singing a Chuck Berry song, for example. Chuck Berry, the, 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 the black, uh, uh, inventor of, uh, you know, the rock and roll, uh, uh idiom. Uh, musically, there's nothing wrong with someone uh, quite singing a Chuck Berry song. The problem occurs when other people think that it's their song, and nobody knows that it's actually a Chuck Berry song. You see what I'm saying? So I mean, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, it seems to me about transparency that uh, that's important. Because I don't know how it's possible to stop someone from being influenced by, uh, or you know, from using or 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 seeing or viewing or putting uh, things in, into their work. And I, don't, I don't think you can stop anybody from doing that. Yeah. I don't think you can protect uh, you know a culture from being uh, exported. Yeah, the, the culture is something very very like because uh, that's what makes us very that's what makes us different. And at the same of course, time, yeah, it's what gathers us, is what like put us together. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you know it's it, 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 it's what it's what the uh, it's what makes everybody different. But it's also it also seems to me to be something that uh, you know that people want to share. In. But there's a lot of trouble with this now. You know, here in the United States, with black culture specifically, with people. Uh, uh, there's the woman uh, who pretended to be a black woman for so many years. Uh, and was able to um, get uh, grant money and jobs and positions and the rest of it on, uh, uh, as a black woman, but she was actually a white woman pretending to be a black woman. Uh, Rachel Dolezal. This is a uh, a, a that, that that happened uh, last last year, I guess, is when it came to light. Yeah. Now that's a, that's an example of cultural appropriation on on that, but again, I don't think it's possible to prevent that, uh, uh, to, to prevent pe people from taking it to the extreme. I don't, I wouldn't know how to, 
how you could stop that from happening. All you can do is is try to say, well, look, this is what you're doing. This is where it is for the person who's doing it to say, this is what I'm doing. This is where it's coming from. These are my influences. So these are the people and things that, that, uh, that I was influenced by. Instead of, uh, uh, you know, letting people think that uh, you're creating it on your own. I think that's where the problem lies. Yeah, and another example is that the French government recently have a very issue with an African country because they say they looted and they took some of their nuts in the colonial time. Now, the African country is like um, showing or like asking the French government to return all those nuts which were taken from their country. Yeah. And, and yeah, what they're saying is um, that uh, there's, 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 there's a mass or outcast from Africa cannot be returned. You know, it's one example of cultural appropriation. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that, that's a very interesting case. Uh, so the French government says that they cannot return the uh, the uh, these items to Africa. They won't return them. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Well, wh and and the reason is is, is what preservation. It said maybe if they return, they don't have. Like the facility to preserve all those back and um, right, and it might be the destruction of a cultural heritage. Yeah, we well, see now that uh, here again. Now I, I, this goes to the, there's nothing wrong with displaying the masks outside of Africa. However, if they were stolen, they have to be returned. I mean, uh, if it's if they were if they were stolen a thousand years ago, they have to be returned because there was there was a theft involved. Uh, it's it's one thing to borrow them. It's one thing to exhibit them. It's one thing to for them to go to be going on a on a tour around the world. These wonderful masks and uh, art art objects that were that were that, that are from the, this uh, African culture. They can travel all the way around the world, but of course they have to return to uh, to, to 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 you know. But the, you know, the difference is, of course, is that at the time when they were when they were taken from Africa and brought to France, it wasn't considered theft. You know, so it, you know, this is again, so 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 it's it's not. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's possible or it should be possible to to prevent uh, cultural items from from traveling the world and influencing other cultures. The problem again is 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 when uh, is appropriation occurs when the credit is not given. And, or in this case, when uh, you know, uh, uh, when it's theft, you see, it wasn't considered theft, uh, you know, 500 years ago, or whenever the, the the items were taken, but it, it but but it should have been considered theft then, and it, and it is now, uh, so they should be returned, you know, but uh, uh, be, it's, uh, it seems to be doubtful that they will. But don't, don't you think people are scared of um, appropriation because appropriation? Might also lead to cultural transformation, right? Take one cut and transform the cultural values of the culture. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's uh, that's that's uh, certainly uh, part of it. Uh, I think that in the case of this woman I mentioned, Rachel Dolezal, uh, it was extremely upsetting and uh, threatening for uh, people of color. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, she was able to exploit and take advantage and, uh, and, um, uh, you know, build a, a career uh, that, uh, that, uh, that an actual black woman, uh, you know, who was, uh, interested or trying to do something along similar lines wouldn't have been able to do because Rachel Dobrozal had taken the position. You know, they were out there, you know, by, by, uh, so, you know, the question of being able to protect, um, uh, well, your, to your point of, um, you know, cultures becoming uh, homogenized and there not being any difference between them. I don't, I don't know if that's, if Thank you. 
it there. And these things seem to, the, 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 only, the, the only way to rectify it, it seems, on a, on a case-by-case basis. Uh, like uh, the uh, the uh, the thing that just happened, I guess uh, it's a good time to, to mention the uh, controversy at the Whitney uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, the, yeah, the Whitney Bible has like um, a very controversial issue. The case of uh, Emmer Till. Um, there's a town on Pentec who was a white lady painted by the of uh, Emmer, and as you know, Emmer was the um, was a 15 years old boy, but in 1955. Yeah, yeah, he was flirting with a white woman, white woman. Well, you know, it, it was it was all uh, yeah, terrible story. A lot of people in the end of the birth of the whole country. 